what's up you guys this is Steffi aka and my humble opinion and welcome back to another fan reaction Friday video in today's video we are watching season 4 episode 4 of the crown the episode is entitled favorite so let's get right into it I mean do we really need an episode telling us who the favorite child is of the family ready ready I don't know why they showed us that, but... <laughs> of course I'd like to reduce interest rates. Prime Minister, are you all right? Oh my gosh, you're gonna cry? Over the years, this room has been part office, part drawing room, part confessional, and part psychologist's couch. We even have paper hankies. <laughs> I don't know if it's like Olivia Coleman or just the oh, queen sorry. right now, but... <laughs> I always think it's really funny when she tries to be, like, human. <laughs> it's my son, Mark. You've two children, yes? Yes, twins. <gasps> twins! We love twins! And my favorite, Mark... Oh, she has a favorite. ...has gone missing. What? He has been competing in the Paris-Dakar car rally. Oh! Regarde. Regarde, regarde. We lost. We're not lost. I know exactly what I'm doing. Wait, what will be funny is if the other child is with him and Margaret Thatcher's like, I don't give a fuck about the other child. <laughs> I just care about Mark. It's been five days since Mark Thatcher was last sighted with his teammates. Wow, that's bleak though. Never people go missing for that long duration of a time. Any honest parent would admit to having a favorite. We all know who his favorite is. All right, you first. Who's yours? Anne. You said that alarmingly quickly. Well, because it didn't require thought. Philip! <laughs> Well, who? Go on. He's like, I'm gonna have you figure Philip. that one out. You can't just leave. Watch me. Philip! I miss seeing these two. I feel like, you know, obviously as the story, as we get into the later seasons and more characters introduced, and especially as the children are aging up and their lives are getting more interesting, it's beginning to feel like we don't really see Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip together as much as when we did when they were younger, like in seasons one and two, so I like these moments. They're fun. Philip! <laughs> Philip! It's hard for them to get past that maternal instinct, isn't it? They get emotional. She's gonna find out for herself who her favorite child is. I'd like you to arrange for me to see my four children. Uh, ma'am? In private, one at a time. <laughs> what? <laughs> Important, I think, though, that each is unaware that the others have been summoned too. Well, they're gonna talk to each other. Perhaps a short briefing document ahead of each meeting, focusing on each child's hobbies, interests, and so forth. <gasps> One would hate to appear uninformed. Oh my god, that's so sad that she even needs that. Brilliant. They can't even locate the drivers who aren't lost. <laughs> I'm scared of how this ends. And could therefore be manned with a detachment of Royal Marines, who would easily outnumber the scrap. Ooh, Trust. Gillian Anderson, yes. Trespassing. You better act, girl. Oh my god, is this the other twin? He doesn't look like him. <laughs> Just so you know, you're not my favorite. <laughs> I can't help it if roads are closed. Darling, so lovely to see you. Mommy. Oh, this is her other child. I'm still getting my civil list money. Yes, all 20,000 pounds of it. <laughs> Spoiled. I had a vet with my protection officer on the way here that it would be poached salmon. It's always poached salmon in this place. Oh my god. Well, we like I'm what we like, okay? Let her, her live her poached years. salmon life. I'm afraid it's unleashed the latent policeman in me. Oh, don't say that. Why? Discipline is important. And I happen to have discovered a taste for enforcing it. I even had someone sent down there. Sent down where? Home. For smoking. Oh my gosh. Weren't you almost caught for smoking once? Almost, yes. But I was clever enough to get away with it. Isn't that a little unfair? <laughs> I don't it's like nice. him. Who is he supposed to be? Who bullies you? Pretty much everyone. How? You don't want to know. I do. Well, maybe they were bullying you for being a prick. All right. Gave me a bottle of white wine as a gift, which turned out to be... <gasps> what? <laughs> You're in. Oh, I thought it was going to be something else. A member of the royal family at Jesus College. Just wait and see how the applications rocket. That's not a particularly attractive attitude. It's true. That yeah, he's a prick. He's entitled. People will always want me. 
And what do you expect me to do about that? Say no? There has to be some upside to being who we are. Queen Elizabeth is gonna feel bad that she's like, ooh, I raised an asshole. I raised an entitled asshole. That's the realization she's coming to right now. That was daddy. He's just arrived safely and LG is. Thank you. Oh, she was the other twin. <laughs> what is it, Charles? It's the situation in the Falklands. She's like, I don't care about the Falklands. <laughs> How will it possibly end up well? If we do nothing, I feel like she's projecting I'll on what is happening with her son right now. If you'll excuse me, when I get back to my son, yes, Prime Minister. Well, she's a mother, of course, she cares about where her missing son is, and that shouldn't be a dig just because she's a woman, she's being emotional. Because, like Queen Elizabeth said, there's been other prime ministers who were men that got emotional as well for different reasons. So, let's not pull that card. Hello. This is clearly the family's favorite. She even got her love of horses. Good afternoon. How are you? <laughs> Maybe her favorite isn't even the children, it's the horses. Isn't this heaven? If you say so. <laughs> I like Anne. And yet all she has to do is put on a frock and she's all over all the front page. Oh, is this, this Diana? Diana. The only other young female in the family, yes, against whom I am now always compared. Oh no! And the constant questions about my marriage all the time, about Mark. Yes, how is Mark? That's it, exactly like that. How is Mark? Mark's fine! <laughs> oh girl, I love it seeing Queen Elizabeth like talking to her children. He felt compelled to mention rumours about a Sergeant Cross and the two of you being intimate. Oh my. Anne? Oh! You can't. Here's the one thing that makes me happy. Wow, this is tea. Poor Queen Elizabeth is like, I'm just trying to bond with my kids and figure out which one's my favorite. Little did I know they all have their shit that they're dealing with and their emotional baggage. <laughs> Being a mother is hard. That's the subtitle of this episode. Being a mother, it's hard. Mark Thatcher and his French co-driver Charlotte Vernet was sighted this morning by an Algerian Air Force C-130 search plane. Oh, yay! But what the last few days has shown me very clearly is that above all else, I am a mother. And I have a favorite. <laughs> of course they were, darling. They're French. <laughs> Quite. Now, I remain pretty relaxed. Mm. This other lady does not look anything like him. I don't know if that's how it is in real life, but how are they twins? Prime Minister's son lost in the desert. Because we weren't lost. I mean, I knew where we were. It's just that no one else did. <laughs> Carol, it's not quite that simple. The whole point is you make your own route. Well, Mark, the driver didn't seem too happy when she was rushed to hospital with heat stroke. Ooh. She was being overdramatic. Of course she was. She's a woman. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher, geez. I just thought he could have shown a bit more gratitude to the rescue team. Why? It was their job, wasn't it? She's enabling her favorite child to act like this. Can you excuse me? I need to top up. Would you like some salt, darling? Mm, no, I think it's right. I think it's fine. If I was Caroline, I'd be like, peace the fuck out. You and me, dear, we are the support act. Oh, yes. my gosh. Um, out by four-ish. <laughs> wow, okay. Prince Andrew, your majesty. Your majesty. Is this the one that's like been in the news over in the UK? Well, this latest one. It's quite something. Oh, yes, a young, racy... The latest actress. one. Who is this girl that he's supposedly, or that he's dating? Are you sure it was even legal? Who cares? Oh. It might come as a shock. But in your case, not only would Charles have to die, he'd probably have to murder any sons he might have. Mm. Duke of York has history in that department too. Richard III. Oh, yes. <laughs> you are clever. Oh my gosh, is this her favorite? This salmon is delicious. Isn't it? Oh, see, he likes the salmon too. We never show affection in this family, ever. We're no different to anyone else. That's what I spend my life telling everyone. This is her favorite. Instead of seeing His Royal Highness tomorrow in London, we might like to visit his new house, Highgrove, in Gloucestershire. Would that work, time-wise? Uh, yes, at a pinch, we could still get you back to London by evening. 
All right, why not? <laughs> would have been funny as if she was like, I don't need to meet him. I know who my favorite is. I want to talk to you. Darling, not now. She's like, I'm tired of this bullshit, mommy. Just because you've had a difficult relationship with your mother. Darling, I really don't have time You this. cannot let it affect your relationship with all women. Ooh. Most of all, your own daughter. Darling, you do pick your moments. The daughter I'm is pissed. stepping up. In a few minutes, I have the chiefs of staff coming. Then give me one of those minutes. Yeah, that's right, Caroline. Speak up. And you favor Mark. Because he's stronger. Ooh, there it is. But there is a limit to what one can do if people are themselves limited. You should say, well, do you see me as limited, mother? She limits her own daughter to playing this quote-unquote housewife role. If I was Caroline, I'd be like, peace out. Ask Mark to help you in the kitchen. But I would remind you, she's not just your mother-in-law, she's also your queen! Oh? Diana! Diana! Ooh. They're yelling at each other now! Diana. Oh my god, she's pregnant! <laughs> yeah, bitch. Increase that volume on the TV! <laughs> Diana's not doing too hot right now, she looks depressed. Whenever, like, the people stand outside waiting in line like that, it just reminds me of Downton Abbey. Tabula rasa. A clean slate. Yes, I know what tabula rasa means. <gasps> I know what that song. means. <laughs> so what's yours? That eventually the house, the, the land, and the gardens should reflect who I really am, what I'm all about. <laughs> me! Not my wife and I. Me! <laughs> Don't you hate it when gardeners impose straight lines everywhere? Nature abhors a straight line after all. That pool looks like it's going to have straight lines. <laughs> My own little Shangri-La, Xanadu. Queen Elizabeth's like, what the hell? What kind of children did I raise? Now, if we're going to have lunch, we should probably make a start because they want me back in London by six. Of course. <laughs> this is clearly not her favorite. Proximity to Cornwall, and Anne's just a stone throw away. Not just Anne. Only a 15 minute drive, I heard. Boom, there it is. Elizabeth knows what's up. Talk on the telephone. How often? As often as is necessary. Meaning every day. More often when I need cheering up. When you need cheering up. And your young, beautiful wife, struggling with pregnancy, has locked herself in a room upstairs and is refusing to come out. She's definitely toughest on Charles, no, I feel I like. It. But in your position, I might be inclined to worry less about my own happiness and pay a little more attention to the well-being of the mother of my future child. Mm. Let him know. You're a married man now, with a baby on the way. He was like, that didn't go as planned. I thought my, my gardening would really win her over. <laughs> oh my gosh, William's in there. <laughs> She definitely has a interesting and unique relationship with each of her children, but I feel like it's pretty clear which one is the favorite. Was the open door an invitation? Not that sort of invitation. <laughs> I was hoping we might talk. <laughs> the conclusion I've come to is that it's our children that are lost, not the Prime Minister's. Ooh. Each of their deserts. All right. Edward's not lost. I disagree. He seems entirely lost and bullied and vengeful. I'll concede that Charles is lost. <laughs> Charles is like the least favorite child of the four. That's for Andrew. Your favorite. Mm. I was shocked. If he doesn't change. If he doesn't change. Ellipses. <laughs> I wanted two more to prove to myself that I had it in me and to make up for my feelings. Hmm. Especially with Charles. Ooh, yikes. See? Again, not the favorite. Bath time. I sat in a chair in the background because I didn't know how to... Oh. How to what? Hold him, touch him. Hmm. Get, look at me. Look at me. Oh my gosh, she's like, I suck as a mom. <laughs> you are a perfectly good mother. And... 
children are adults now. It is your job to... Stick, stick around, stay alive, and keep breathing. Precisely. Well, she's still doing it, even in 2020. <laughs> that was nice of Philip to say. That was his own way of comforting her. <laughs> Remember when their marriage was like, ooh, in season two? All right, and some post-show thoughts. Wow, yeah, I feel like this episode was really about, obviously, mothers and children but how mothers relate to their children, particularly when their children have now grown and become adults. And seeing the way in which mothers have brought up their children, how that has affected their adulthood years and who they've become as people. They grounded it in an interesting, <laughs> question of do mothers have favorites margaret thatcher was very upfront that her favorite was mark and queen elizabeth pretty much spent this entire episode trying to figure out who her favorite was even though by the time she came to meet with her favorite child it was very apparent who that was but this episode also just like it made me empathize with mothers in general because being a mother raising children and fathers too but i'm talking about mothers specifically because that's what this episode is about but being a mother is hard it becomes complicated when you're a woman who's in a position of power to specifically look at queen elizabeth the relationship that she has with each child is is interesting because obviously they've all turned out different because each child is a unique individual but it's interesting to see kind of the entitlement that her children have in their own ways i would definitely say of the children Anne is by far my favorite i really did not like edward even though it sucks that he was being bullied but low-key i feel like if you were to ask like hey why were you bullied or if you were to ask the other kids like why did you pick on him i would take a gander that part of it wasn't just because he was a member of the royal family part of it was probably because he was an entitled prick andrew was clearly Queen Elizabeth's favorite because they seem to have the best rapport between the two of them and you know he appreciates the salmon unlike Edward. Charles I feel like across the board between Philip and Elizabeth I really don't think he's the favorite. You can even argue that he's probably the least favorite child and it kind of sucks because he is the one that has the most responsibility since he's the oldest and he's going to inherit the crown one day but it's funny because I feel like Queen Elizabeth and Philip are just constantly annoyed at Charles. I definitely feel like two of the four, Queen Elizabeth is the hardest on Charles and it's because of all the duties that are going to befall him eventually. I feel like she enables Edward because he's the youngest. With Anne, it's complicated. Like, I think she does genuinely try to connect with Anne, especially since Anne is her only daughter, but sometimes her way of doing it isn't the most effective. And then Andrew, I guess to a certain extent she does kind of enable him, but I, I, I think it's maybe because he's the favorite. Oh gosh, I feel so bad for Caroline, Margaret Thatcher's daughter. I feel like that conversation of who's the favorite favorite gets even more intense when you're dealing with twins because it's like we're twins but I do love that Caroline stood up to her and presented a really interesting idea that the relationship that Margaret Thatcher had with her own mom has affected not only her own relationship with her daughter but the relationship that she has with all women. It's interesting to me that Margaret Thatcher being the first female prime minister and being a, a woman in a high position of power, she's in that position, but then at the same time, she puts down the idea of women being in positions of power. It's kind of a bit hypocritical to me, I feel like. Yeah, solid episode again. It's all right, my question for you guys is, I feel like a good chunk of you who watch these reaction review videos to The Crown, not only are you just fans of the show, but you all tend to be very knowledgeable about the royal family and royal family history and whatnot. I'd be interested to know, do you think that the show got it right by kind of portraying that Andrew is the favorite of Elizabeth, or do you think mm, they didn't really get that right? Let me know in the comment section below, and also let me know what do you think of the way they portrayed Queen Elizabeth's relationship with each individual child did you think that was accurate as well because again when you're watching these videos for me i'm someone who doesn't really know that much about the royal family so pretty much everything i'm watching from the crown is how i'm learning so yeah let me know in the comment section below did you think 
that was accurate. All right, well, that's about it for this video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please turn on the notification button down below so you know when a new video from me comes out and comment down below your thoughts on this particular episode. Once again, I'm going to be plugging my podcast that I host. It's called Diva Dailies. It's a podcast where we deconstruct divas on film and TV. I highly recommend you check it out. I work really, really hard on that podcast along with doing this YouTube channel and I would really appreciate it if you, you check it out. We do deep dives into different movies and tv shows so it's it's a good it's a good podcast if i do say so myself um but yeah that's pretty much it as always everything i said which is my own personal thoughts and all my humble opinion and i'll see you guys in the next one bye